Hi, I'm William Sheckle with the Chambers Rescue Channel, and today we're going to talk about what to use to clean your Chambers stove. One question that constantly pops up is, how do I clean my Chambers stove without doing damage to it and without it being a ridiculous amount of effort? Well, the fact is, everything on this, if you want it cleaned well, is going to require some elbow grease, but you want that elbow grease to go as far as it possibly can. Products I'm about to show you are for me on my accept no substitutes list. If I can't find one of these, I'll wait to clean whatever it is that needs cleaning. Starting off with Dawn Ultra. Dawn Ultra, we go through a lot of this in this house because if you clean the number of stoves I do, uh, you end up using this first and foremost. It will clean everything. I advise caution around the thermal well lid. I'll talk more about the thermal well lid in a few in a minute. It's its own special case. But for really everything, you can do no damage and you'll and you'll get a lot done very efficiently with Dawn Ultra. Safe for baby ducks, safe for your stove. For the broiler box and the oven and inside the thermal well, easy off. Again, I come across stoves all the time that haven't been cleaned in 20, 30, 40, 50 years sometimes, and the crud in them is really incredible. Easy off heavy duty gets rid of it very efficiently. The fumes are a little hard to, uh, to stand if, if you don't have a well, if you're not using it in a well ventilated room, make sure you're wearing thick rubber gloves. Don't use this with your bare hands, but easy off heavy duty. In the yellow can, way better than in the blue can. If you're the kind of person who cleans your stove regularly, you can probably get away with the blue can. But if you're the once a year type, you probably uh, want to use the heavy duty. And if your stove is new to you, you see a lot of listings uh, where people say, oh, you know, it's been in, our, in my kitchen forever. And from my kitchen to your kitchen, you want the heavy, the heavy duty easy off. For the aluminum parts, broiling pan the, uh, and the griddle, and even the thermal well lid, you want to use a Cameo Cleaner by Brillo. I used to read a lot about this and I thought, well, how can it possibly be that much different than Barkeeper's Friend? I have done the comparison test for me, and I'll tell you, muscle for muscle, Cameo Cleaner gets your, your, your parts cleaner better. Um, I've read that there's one extra chemical in, in Cameo Cleaner that there isn't in Barkeeper's Friend. I believe it because it really does clean that much better. It's going to get you a better shine. Again, you're still going to have to work to clean them. Using a one of those green scotch pads and cameo cleaner is, uh, is a great way to get your broiling pan clean and your griddle clean. And again, the thermal well lid, it's good for that, but there's always a caveat with the thermal well lid, which is why I'm going to make it its own little mini chapter of this video. But let's continue with the list. When you've got everything else done and you want to really show off your chambers, you want to polish the chrome, use Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Now, learn this from restoring cars. One of my brothers was restoring a, a, an old Jaguar, used this on, on the chrome parts and it just made them pop. I got a can to try and it's really made a huge difference. You don't need a lot of it. And when if you're going to do the entire top, I recommend extinguishing the, the pilot light while you do it just to make everything nice and cool you don't want it to burn and you really only need 15 20 minutes to do the uh, to polish the top so you don't need to worry about the amount of gas that's going to come out of there while uh, while it's extinguished if you're really concerned turn the gas off again the shine is totally worth it handles of course as well um, and, the, and the chrome strip here it really does make a difference. And again, I, you know, I could show you the whole long list of other chrome polishes I've tried. It's simply not worth it. This is the one where, where I've wound up and it's for good reason. And you know, the other thing that I read about for a very long time, but never actually went out of my way to use until really the past six months or so is this LA is totally awesome cleaner. It's a degreaser. If your stove is new to you, if it's unrestored, or it's been a long time since you pulled it out from between two cabinets, it's a given that there's going to be grease on the side panels, on, uh, on the drip rings, underneath the drip rings. For me, normally, uh, something that has on the label as seen on TV, that would be a turnoff. 
that's why it took me so long to actually eventually uh, actually try to find one. Once I tried it, never going back. This is three dollars at the dollar store. You can get a big gallon jug of it for like seven ninety nine. You can find it on Amazon too. The Amazon link is below uh, in the video description on YouTube and on my website as well. It really does make a difference and the grease just melts away. You ever see a, a Chambers logo that is absolutely clean? Wonder how people got them that clean? Soak it in this for like an hour. Watch 50 years of grease melt away. Again, I, it took me a long time to be convinced myself. Now that I've started using it, never going back. So that's what you need for general maintenance. But I kept saying, but not for the, the thermo well lid. So let's talk about the thermo well lid for a minute. The reason the thermo well lid is its own special case is because of its construction. If you look around the inside edge, you notice that the aluminum is just folded over. This is really just crimped onto the enamel. Inside is insulation. If you submerse this in water or you spray water you know, with your sink sprayer and get it in here, the water is going to get in and soak the insulation and has nowhere to go. Your insulation is going to stay wet. Then you're going to put it down on the thermo well, which is always warm. And as it gets warm, this is eventually going to pop. You're going to wreck your thermo well lid. Of course, you can replace them, but there's a finite number of thermo well lids, and everybody out there wants one, and everybody out there wants a cleaner one. Well, you can have that cleaner one, and you can have that one that's still intact. Just don't let water get inside here. So never submerse it. When you... Uh, when you clean it, what I do is I get this, uh, uh, one of those green scotch pads, I wet it, sprinkle the Cameo cleaner onto the pad, and then rub it on. Now, you can be reasonably aggressive with any kind of stains that you've got on, on the aluminum top. And at the end, just brush that, that scotch pad in one direction. That'll get rid of a lot of the swirls. It's 70 years old. It's never going to look as good as new. I mean, yes, there are ways to do that. I try not to. I like to have something that's 70 years old. It looks 70 years old, but I don't want it to be disgusting. <laughs> you want it to not be disgusting? Cameo cleaner, scotch pad carefully, then wipe it down with a damp paper towel until all the residue is off. That's it. Never submerse that in, in, in any kind of water or, or you will ruin it. It is possible to recrimp a thermo well lid. I have done it, but I have, would not encourage anyone else to try. It's a lot of effort for very little reward. But that's the moral of the story with cleaning. You want a lot of reward for the effort. These are the products that get you that. They're the ones that make every ounce of elbow grease you're putting into keeping your stove as good as new that much more worthwhile. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to have uh, links to all these products in the video description below and on my website. If, you, if there's a topic you'd like to see a video on, please leave a, a comment uh, below on YouTube or send me an email through my website, chambersrescue.com. Always happy to have an, uh, uh, an idea for something that's important to you because if it's important to you with the chamber stove, it's probably important to a lot of other people too. So again, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.